What I want to do today is do a review on this Shark Evo Line helmet that I've had for nearly two years. I did a review and um, about, oh, I suppose, 18 months ago on the helmet after I'd had it for about six months. So it's a really good helmet. So here we are, this is um, two years on. And I just want to show you um, anything that might have gone wrong. Now, the helmet's never been looked after. I just, you know, I really don't look after it all. This is a little bit loose here. Probably lost a screw, I think, out of here. But that's just me. Not the helmet's fault. The vent is um, still good. No problems there. This one here on the new ones are a little bit shaky. A little bit of um, noise coming out of it. So if you're going to buy one, just be a little careful of that. I have seen some, some in the store that are rattly. So I've got a feeling that they're actually a bit of a maybe a dodgy lot that's come out. Um, you'll normally see they're a lot cheaper than anything else. And then I'll have the good ones there. Now I've been able to I put my uh, ghost on the side. Um, so it goes on here. Now you think that it's because it's a you know a modular helmet we can't fit the um, cameras and that on but the camera fits on there beautifully that fits on there it doesn't get in the way with any of the mechanism or anything like that you know just when you do it just make sure that you have a little bit of room there and I haven't had any dramas and I've had that on for 12 months or more now so in 12 months I um, also have a, um, a Cena on there so the Cena I've had no trouble with it it fits nice it's good um, yeah it's really good so that just pops off obviously that's the bracket there I think I tightened it once um, but see now this helmet, this part here it didn't that's obviously missing a screw the other side but it's, it's been missing for months and it's never worried it's just me being rough that's all um, inside the speaker pocket there I've lost this there you'll notice over here I've just put a, uh, a rag in there just to stop it rubbing on my ear now the visor the visor's fine up and down no worries have any issues with it I've wore the um, uh, the anti-fog off on the inside so that's all good um, I've pulled out of the cheek pads I've pulled the stuffing out of there because it was originally too tight for me so that's all that's all fixed um, that's all good all the lining still intact the uh, visor um, the sun visor for the is all intact it's never it's never come loose nothing it's actually very good quality I, I use that a lot um, you know I think if you use a, a helmet for two years um, you know you don't have any issues with it which is this one here like even like I said with the new ones just be a bit careful because they if if you Feel the new new Evo on three, and it feels a bit rattly. You know, um, that's the one that I sent back. If you look at my video I sent back. So these are still good. It just shows you that that they either put in some dodgy uh, vents or um, they're fake ones. So be a bit careful. So these are really good. Now I did try a new one on at the store because I'm due for an update on this and um, they now have, instead of the this here, they have um, clips, ratchet clips, but it's held up really well, there's no issues with it, um, I, I, there's absolutely nothing that's broken, I ride in the rain as well so you can see there's a little bit of rust coming out on that stud there. But like I said, that's just me being rough. Just me being rough. But now these are selling at pretty good prices now. Pretty good price.
crisis. That takes a little bit to get down. I don't, um, I have never oiled it. <laughs> there is oil. You can see in here, there is oil that you can put around there, which I'm, I might just, I might just do this after this video, because I've never done it. Um, but if you look at my other videos, you'll see me riding, you know, in pouring rain. Um, also ride, you know, the spider there with that helmet. Also ride, um, the road glide with that helmet um, it's just such a great helmet now they do have a new one come out now called the Evo 1 now, I'm actually uh, due to update this helmet I've just bought my wife a brand new one of these uh, in the move because uh, she's small they're selling them really cheap um, so I think 150 Australian dollars delivered so we're just waiting for that to arrive and then I'm going to get probably one to uh, match hers. But they have one now called the Evo 1. Now it's um, the Shark Evo line, but a newer model. Now it's a bit smaller in the shell. It has a different mechanism here, but I've never had any issues with this mechanism. This is, this is very easy to use. Um, one hand, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. It works, it clips back. Now, apparently the other one will lock back, so I'm yet to try it on. But I will be updating, so whether I buy another one of these, or um, go to the Evo 1. Now, as you can see in there, it's well worn. So the date on there is 2012. Um... So we're in 2016 now, and I actually run a small in, the, in this one here, but when I bought that one online from Bike Biz, I bought a large, and it was so small I couldn't get it anywhere near my head, wouldn't even fit my 10 year old daughter. So I reckon that was a, um, a fake. Um, now they, they have a, an awful lot of small for sale. For hundred dollars, hundred and fifty dollars now. So if if you're um, you've got your missus or one of your children, they're an unbelievable helmet, and they do everything that you want. I notice even the police in America um, are wearing them as well. So and now their um, Evo One, which is the new model, is coming to Australia. And hopefully it'll be here in the next few months. Um, I'm just going for a ride today, see if I can actually try one on. I just don't know whether to buy a medium or a large. So I just want to try it on. But anyhow, there we go. Two years later, this helmet is still A1.